Motorcycle USA traveled to New York City to attend the official press launch of Harley Davidson's newest dark custom soft tail, the 2011 Black Line. Before the launch, we spent a little time at world famous Times Square and made a visit to the monumental Empire State Building. The party Friday night at Dawn Hills in Soho was big time fun, and the Harley Black Line was the star of the show. Models took turns posing with bike, and even Willie G hung out till late. The black line has narrow bars, the lowest seat height of any Harley, and its fenders have been trimmed down and lowered. The next morning we were up early to catch the New York IMS. Two 2012 models were introduced at the show, the Victory Highball and Ducati's 1100 EVO. Ducati's John Paolo Canton introduced the first air-cooled production Ducati to put out 100 horsepower. The 2012 1100 EVO. Ducati then did it up in style with loud techno music and high energy fashion featuring the latest Ducati fashions. Custom builder Roland Sands was on hand to reveal the Victory Highball he customized, called Old Vic, and to talk about how Victory is a great canvas for customization. Other highlights included Honda's John Seidel talking about the highly anticipated release of Honda's entry level sport bike, the 2011 CBR 250R and Eric Bostrom was at the Kawasaki display talking about riding the Team Cycle World Attack Performance Kawasaki ZX-10R at Daytona. AMA Supersport rider Elena Myers was at the Suzuki display where she discussed her recent agreement to compete in the 2011 AMA Supersport Championship aboard the GSXR 600. She will also spearhead a new social media project on Facebook called Suzuki Scoop Fans. BMW's new Concept C scooter also garnered plenty of attention. The custom bikes in the Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show were also a big draw, with a cool five grand up for grabs for the winner. The New York IMS was a great place to see all of the latest motorcycles from all of the manufacturers under one roof.